Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is Batman Earth One. Now, Earth One is a graphic novel written by Jeff Johns and illustrated by Gary Frank, and of course published by DC Comics. Now, this was published in 2012. Now, Earth-1 is a retelling of Batman's origin, which certainly has been done before, but I've never really seen it done in this way, because it basically retells Batman's origin, but in a very different way. And also, this isn't set in the mainstream DC continuity. This book is essentially set in its own universe, and it seems to be a slightly more realistic take on the Batman mythos, similar to Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight movies, and this book actually does seem to take a lot of inspiration from both Frank Miller's Year One and, uh, and Christopher Nolan's film Batman Begins. Now, before I read this, I was initially hesitant to read this because there were certain things I've heard about this book that I didn't think I was going to like, but now that I've actually read it, I can honestly say this is one of my favorite Batman stories. Like, I would honestly hold this up there with The Killing Joke and The Dark Knight Returns and The Long Halloween. Now, the plot of Earth-1 is, as I said, it's a retelling of Batman's origin. Now, in this story, Bruce Wayne is a young man, and he's first starting out as Batman. Now, in this story, the reason he becomes Batman is really to solve his parents' murder. Now, in this universe, it turns out that Thomas Wayne, who is, of course, Bruce Wayne's father, was actually running to become mayor of Gotham City, and it turns out the person he was running against was very corrupt. So now Bruce Wayne believes that the person that his father was running against, who is now the current mayor of Gotham City, he believes that this person had his parents murdered. So now, as Batman, he's going after the mayor of Gotham City, whose name is Oswald Cobblepot, who most Batman fans would know as the Penguin. Now, in this book, there are two main villains. There's Oswald Cobblepot, who most Batman fans would know as the Penguin. And there's also a serial killer called the Birthday Boy, who is probably one of the creepiest Batman villains I've ever come across. And he's an original villain for this book. But basically, the Birthday Boy is a child murderer who kills young girls. And it's, and he's a really, really disturbing character. But like I said, I loved Batman Earth One. This is honestly one of my favorite Batman stories. Now, um, what I really like about this is in this you see characters that you know, but in very different lights. Like Alfred in this book is completely different from the Alfred that we know. Now, in this book, Alfred is an ex-Marine, and it turns out he's the one who actually trained Bruce Wayne in a lot of his skills to become Batman, and all, even Bruce Wayne himself you see in a very different way. The Bruce Wayne in this story, at least when he was a little kid, was kind of a spoiled brat, and you realize that the only reason he truly became Batman was just to find out his own parents' murder, but by as the story goes on, he starts to become a vigilante and starts looking out for other people as well, but the Bruce Wayne, as I said, in this story is kind of a spoiled brat, and you even see Jim Gordon in a very different way in this story. Now, in this story, Jim Gordon... He sees all the crime and corruption that's going on in Gotham City, yet he doesn't do anything about it. Like, he, 
he lets the corrupt cops and gangsters run Gotham City, and you start to really kind of hate him, but you find out at a certain point in the story that there is a reason he's letting all this happen, and by the end of the story, he does become more like the Jim Gordon that we know. And another thing I thought was interesting is in this, you find out that Bruce Wayne's mother was actually an Arkham. She was related to the family, the Arkhams, who of course course, in other Batman stories are the, the family that created Arkham Asylum. I thought that was very interesting. Now, probably my favorite character in this book is Harvey Bullock, who is very different from the Harvey Bullock of other Batman stories. Now, Bullock is a very interesting character because he's sometimes portrayed as the good guy and sometimes he's portrayed as a villain. Like, uh, in the, he was in the animated series and the Harvey Bullock of the animated series was kind of a dickhead, but you could tell that deep down he was a good person, and I know Harvey Bullock is in the show Gotham. I actually haven't watched Gotham yet, but uh, apparently he's kind of a villain in the show Gotham. But in this book, he starts out as like a real tool. Like, it turns out that he's a... Uh, reality show personality. He's from some reality show called Hollywood Detectives, and he's a real tool bag, and he gets assigned to be Jim Gordon's partner, but he starts to go through a real character arc in this story. At first, he starts out as this real cocky douchebag, but you realize that he genuinely does want to do the right thing, and he sees how apathetic Jim Gordon is being to all the crime and corruption that's going on around him, and, you know, he's the one who really tries to push Jim Gordon to actually do the right thing. You know, and I really loved Bullock in this story. Bullock is honestly my favorite character in this book, because he really does go through a real character arc in this story. Now, once again, I loved Batman Earth 1. I highly recommend this if you're a Batman fan, and even if you haven't read that many of the comic books, since this is set in its own continuity, this is actually kind of the perfect comic to read for people who haven't read, who aren't followers of the whole continuity and just want to read a standalone Batman story, then I would definitely recommend this, you know, and, like, if you've only seen, like, the Christopher Nolan and the Tim Burton movies and maybe you've watched the animated series when you were a kid or something and you want to get into the comics, honestly, I would recommend checking this one out, since it is set in its own continuity. You don't have to be... There's no, like, continuity behind it that you have to be familiar with or anything. Now, apparently, there is going to be a sequel to this, which I'm actually pretty excited now to read the sequel to this, and it appears that the Riddler might be the sequel... might be the villain in the sequel to this, because there's a little thing at the end hinting at the Riddler, but uh, yeah, I highly recommend Batman Earth 1 if you haven't read it, and bye.